Hey everyone, welcome to another pour video. In today's video, I am using my spray painted background uh, again, which I really like. Um, it's kind of smelly, but I like it a lot. And uh, the camo pigments on top with the pouring medium. Um, this painting turned out way more dramatic than I anticipated, and I'm actually pretty stoked about it. Um, <laughs> so I've really got to find my little plastic uh, choopy device because I keep on using just like the ends of uh, used up tubes of paint and it just it doesn't really quite get the effect that I'm looking for however um, I mean it, it did the job well enough this time but I got to find my little plastic thing that I was using before I have to admit that I was a little concerned at this point because I was really not super thrilled with all the splashes that I created with the tube of paint. Um, and so as I was preparing to do this ribbon, I was kind of mapping out where I was going to place it and try and cover up a lot of the splashes just because, I don't know, I wasn't digging it at the time. Unfortunately, with these, like spray painted backgrounds you get one shot at it there's no redoing it or anything and um I'm almost out of spray paint um so yeah I I had to figure out how to make all these splashes work for me so I spent a whole bunch of time um kind of just creating puddles there was a lot of procrastination here really because I was pretty nervous about putting the ribbon down and I would have been rather annoyed at myself had I not been able to fix this, the look of the painting. Um, but as it turned out, the ribbon turned out just fantastic. I think that I really got this technique down. So I found laying this ribbon was very reminiscent of uh, patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. I couldn't start rotating the canvas until I had covered up the bit that I didn't like. Um, so it really required a lot of uh, hand-eye coordination for me, at least. Um, but I was so happy with how it turned out. I mean, the shape of it, it really reminds me of, you know, like a kite, you know, doing the like big swirls and dips and stuff in the sky. So that's how I came up with the name. Um, I started messing around with the one corner a little bit um, because I didn't like how it kind of was cut off right at the start of the ribbon. And I kind of tried to drag it down a bit, but it, I smeared it around and I didn't like the look of it. So I just decided to put a little uh, ribbon right on the corner of it, cover that up as well. And I was actually pretty happy with it. I mean, it... it even though it's not really part of the ribbon, it kind of just ties into the chaos of the painting, I think. Anyways, so that's about it. Um, this was over way too quickly, as per usual. Um, I'll give you a close-up here of some of the details. It was really interesting uh, how that purple underside came out. I didn't expect it to be purple underneath at all, but I'm really happy that it it ended up looking like that because I think that it just uh, it looks really cool. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. And I had I think I have one or two more canvases that I'm gonna be doing before I have to go back to work. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.